Well, with the holiday season and the pandemic, many may be putting their fitness on the back burner, but there are some things that you can do from home to stay active. And joining us this morning is fitness trainer Doug Bobst. Good morning. It's great to see you. Jennifer, great to see you as well. How are you? I'm doing good. Don't think I'm crazy. For the family, I bought a punching bag. We don't know how to box, but I imagine there's some pretty good workouts you could do with that. I thought it'd be good for stress, too. Oh, no. Can you hear me? We can't hear you. Hear me? There, there we can go. You, now we can hear you. Start, start over after I said it was good for stress. Yeah, I think boxing is one of the best things you can do to relieve stress because it, it gets out aggression and it's an alternate form of cardio because most people think of cardio in the sense of, um, you know, running, the elliptical, the bike, but boxing is something that's great. And it's great for people who have like a lot of like lower body injuries, people who have troubles with their knees, their hips, their lower back, because it doesn't really evolve those muscles as much and it gets you a great core workout as well. All right, so we're looking forward to that. What are some other things that people can do to stay active from home? Well, I think one of the things right now that we can all agree on is technology can be a disadvantage to so many people, but I think there, you can use it to your advantage when it comes to, to workouts these days. I think YouTube is a great way to start so that anybody, no matter what the fitness level is, can get a workout, whether it's a 10-minute workout, 20-minute workout, 30-minute workout by just looking on your computer on your phone. Um, there's so many creative ways you can get with your family. You, I, what I like to do is I like to take a deck of cards and say there's four suits, there's aces, there's or there's spades, there's clubs, there's hearts, and there's diamonds, and then pick four exercises. And whatever exercise you pick, so if you pick a heart of diamonds, that means you have to do squats, and you do squats for 30 seconds, and you can kind of alternate through that through the deck. I think another thing people can do is just break it up. So, so many people I think now at home, they're stuck at home, they're with kids, they're with their family, and they're busy, so break up your workouts. You don't have to do it all at once, mm -hmm. so maybe pick like 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes midday, and then 10 minutes in the evening. So that way you get a full 30 minutes of movement and you don't have to get stressed out about doing 30 minutes all at once. Yeah, and that's not so overwhelming that way too. And listen, you have a message about addiction, especially this time of year and with the pandemic, you know, more people turning maybe to other means to try to get through this. And you know of what you speak when it comes to this issue. Yeah, I think as somebody who's been in recovery for over 12 years, this time of year is so stressful for so many people, whether they're in addiction or whether, whether they're struggling with addiction or they have a loved one struggling with addiction. I think what you can do right now if you're someone who's struggling is just know that you're not alone and know that this time of year is going to be hard because I think one of the biggest um, struggles people have is they feel depressed, they feel stressed, and they think that it's just them. And in reality, like so many people – um, are, are going through these times in, of despair. And what you can do is really focus on what you can control. So I mentioned fitness earlier. Fitness is a great way to start. Make sure you're moving your body. Make sure you're surrounding yourself with people that are bringing the best out in you and, and, not st and staying away from the people that you were using drugs or drinking with before so that way you're not tempted. And then also you can really use this time to work on yourself and set some goals for 2021 because let's face it, two, 2020 has been a rough year for so many people. And I think if we can kind of put this in past us and look at the lessons we've learned, set a few things we want to get done for next year, we'll have something to look forward to. Because I think when you set and achieve a goal, it improves your self-esteem, improves your self-confidence, and gives you some sense of direction in improving your life, which I think for people who are struggling with addiction or in those dark places can really help them feel better about themselves. Absolutely. Doug, thanks for sharing some of your positive messages with us this morning. Really appreciate it. Of course. It's always a pleasure to join you guys and wishing you guys a happy holiday. All right. We'll see you again soon.